Welcome back to my channel. And to the ever first episode of Margie Presents Hello Random Vlog. I'll get more into it. So, I've always been wanting to do a podcast. I'm not good at vlogging. I feel awkward. But... Hopefully this starts for a future podcast because I love podcasts. I listen to different uh, genres. So it took me like hella takes to do this intro. And you'll hear me say hella a lot. And if you heard that word before, then you know where I'm from. Uh, but I also have a notebook, which you see all these... Uh, errors and different stuff on here like that is my train of thought and I'm trying to get this organized so that I can stay on topic but hopefully it, you know it works I don't know how this is gonna take me into um to staying in topic because once I start thinking, uh, if I don't have someone trying to bring me back, I'm going to start thinking about other stuff. My train of thought goes from, oh, welcome to my podcast to, oh, that one time I did this or this happened. And it's just, it goes. And also is one of my causes of why I get insomnia. Because once I start getting an idea, I start like daydreaming about it. Um, and it just goes it develops into like a show into a storyline in my head and I have to write it down and do it or else I can't sleep uh, so and then I have to take melatonin and all kinds of things so where was I oh I don't have a microphone on my camera uh -oh, uh -oh. once I get that going then I'll be able to do more research on how to start a podcast and I think that's it. Let me look at my handy dandy notebook here. I think that also revealed my age because if you know, you know. Introduction. Did that stay on track? Kind of fucked that up. Uh, unboxing! Yes. So I'm so far behind on unboxing. I wanted to do that, but I didn't know how to do it. And then all kinds of things so uh, this is how far behind I am I uh, am since October unboxing I mean I already unboxed it but I wanted like to show you guys but then a lot of things have happened that, uh, that's my normal I can never plan anything because something always happens so first unboxing um I actually not I didn't throw away the oh excuse me <laughs> Sorry, random burp. I hope I don't get hiccups when I do this because they sound weird. Uh, but I don't have the box no more. Uh, <laughs> I used it to wrap a, a gift card and give it to one of uh, a technician that I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so as you can see from there, I have so many... Everybody calls it Baby Yoda, but if you haven't watched the episodes and don't know its actual name, skip over this, but his name is Skip Gro uh, Grogu. Oh my god, I messed up his name. Grogu. So, as you can tell, I'm obsessed with him. Always have been. Ever since The Mandalorian. And actually, the only reason why I'm into Star Wars now is because of The Mandalorian. I actually watched uh, some movies and I'm trying to like rewatch everything so it can make sense for me. And now I have a thing for a Mandalorian. 
And it's also my husband's fault because he asked me to watch them because I was so confused on the very last um, movie that we saw, which was The Last Jedi. I don't know, it was the very, very, very last one. And I had so many questions because I, uh, Tim, when I was reacting, I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, and people, when they would see certain things, they were like, oh, what? And they were like, my husband too, he would be like, that's insane. And well, it's like, what? And But I didn't get it. I didn't get it. So I had to start watching it, but I didn't really get into it. And then with the Mandalorian, I'm so into it now. And back to my notes. Oh yeah, unboxing. <laughs> now I wonder if I want a podcast so that when I ramble for an hour, it's like, oh, it's because I have a podcast. Anyways, so ColourPop came out with this. And the first time I, I was able to get it before it sold out too. So I was like, oh my God. And I already used it, which is this right here pretty and I will have another video if you care to know how I did this look I will have another video and here it is I already used it so that's why it's there it's so pretty so let me go through the names um I'm gonna go this way so first one is precious cargo right hand mondo mondo mando mando just like a tattooing, sipping soup, baby face, the force, little frog, float your crib, droid protocol. And the ones I used were these right here, this one. Should I swatch them? No, it's gonna take too long. But they're really pretty, and I got this look out of it so next one um i got from ColourPop was these uh eyesh oh, eyesh <laughs> lashes which is the ones that i'm wearing and they're really nice for the first time ever i've now realized that i should have cut them because all the eyelashes that i use i never have to cut them it fits my eyes and this one's actually dangling and I'm trying to ignore the fact that it's poking me right here, poking me right here. So, <laughs> that's that. The next one I got is a gel liner. And I also use it on, you can't see it, but in my next, in the makeup video, you'll see the difference. But it made it peach, like this peachy color. And ColourPop's a really good, um, good brand, like inexpensive if you want to start out. And then I got a lip liner, but I didn't use it on this one because it was actually lighter than the lipstick I wanted to wear. So here is the lip liner. So that's the first unboxing. And second unboxing. Oh, I did a Halloween uh, mystery box. Since I've been a fan of Jeffree Star's makeup, I try not to miss out on the Halloween um mystery boxes almost forgot the name for it because I love Halloween and I'll get to that on a different episode or is it this episode yes it's on this episode okay so here's the first one and I was going to do a reaction of unboxing but I was so impatient and I was like I want to do it and then I opened it, and then the second thing I saw, I screamed, and my husband said, ha, huh, you should have recorded your reaction. So, um, I did open up, like, all of these. Ooh. So the first thing I got was the shirt. And I took it out of the plastic bag, but it actually was, came in a plastic bag. And the sizes run big which I like it because I've been gaining weight <laughs> so here's this one my first tie-dye um, 
white shirt and then it has this star which is a spider web i was so sad i thought they were gonna bring back the the zombie can't relate and last and i learned my lesson last year they had it and i for some reason i thought they were gonna have it in the mystery box so i didn't buy the shirt and it turns out it wasn't part of the mystery box and i really wanted that uh shirt because i love zombies i lo i'm so into scary movies and all kinds of scary stuff so that's the first thing then this when i saw this <gasps> oh my god i screamed i was Oof. i got this i was oh my god i really wanted this these cost 50 dollars but with the mystery box the mystery box is a hundred dollars and oh my god it's this I really wanted this, but I didn't want my husband to buy it for me because I didn't want him to go broke. Because he did buy me uh, a lot of stuff for our wedding anniversary. He told me, he took me to Morphe and then he said, buy whatever you want. So I almost did, but I, I didn't do it because I didn't want, I don't, I don't want him to go broke. Oh, and the lady was so funny. I went in there and when she heard, she heard him say that. And then I said, oh yeah, my husband is uh, gonna, um, told me to buy, it, grab whatever I want and he's gonna buy it. And she handed me a box uh, or a basket. And then she goes, here, it's his card anyways. And oh my God, I wish my husband was there cause it was hilarious. At least to me it was. So anyways, <laughs> I need somebody to tell me stay on track. Anyways, this is <laughs> the Extreme Frost. And so whenever I'm done with this, which I doubt I'll be done with it. Um, but it also serves like a jewelry box. But this is so <gasps> gorgeous. Right here. And then, you know what? I'm going to put it on here. I already I used a highlighter, but I used ColourPop highlighter. I used this one. But you know what? I want to add this just for like you just barely tap on it like I oh my god and I'm not the kind of person that likes extreme highlight oh, one cheek I should have done this cheek but if I, I were to use something like this for look at that oh I did a tap oh my god I would use this like for when I do um like Halloween costume or just costumes, um, stuff like that. Maybe if I want to be a mermaid or a purple alien. Oh, so pretty. Anyways, so that's, I was so happy that I got it. I was, <gasps> that is what I wanted. Because in a mystery box, you may never know what you'll get, even though, everything the quality is so amazing on everything um last time i got like a liquid a highlighter but i don't i one drop and i got it everywhere so i ended up giving it to my sister-in-law um and oh here it goes i got a lip scrub and this one is pink lemonade i already used a little bit of it but smells so good and this is vegan this so if it gets in your mouth it's fine it's just sugar and you can eat it um so oh my god it's so good i got that and then oh i really so i'm almost done with the one i currently have and i was so stoked to get it again in the mystery box i was like this is called candy drip cute gloss i'm not gonna put it on because i'm wearing a different color then i got this oh i really wanted this eyeliner too this one is red rum and i have the lipstick too it's so pretty there you go so i got that too and then i got this too 
<gasps> it's a lip balm. It does give you a sheer, I already used it. It does give you a sheer of like black tint, but it's a lip balm. It smells like candy. <sighs> then, I was getting even more excited because I was pretty much getting everything I wanted. I got this one. <gasps> when I tell you every time I wanted to get this one, it would be sold out or yeah and oh my god it's so pretty yeah trust me this is my gonna be the longest unboxing because i'm so behind but i will be talking about other stuff now this one i got this palette every mystery box comes with the palette i got this palette However, this is actually my mine. Like, this is the first palette I bought. So, um, I got it again in the mystery box. And what I ended up doing is I gave it to my sister-in-law. That was her first Jeffree Star palette. But it's this one. Is it this? you all seen it before. I've done... I don't know if I've done... Oh, I haven't done a video with this. Have I? And it comes with the box like this. And I love this box because it reminds me of VHS. And if you don't know what VHS is, you're too young. And I'm old. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I'm going to try not to edit much. If anything, I'm going to edit the intro because I messed up a lot. So that's the first unboxing, or second unboxing. Another one. I was like, after I bought the, um, what was it called? Um, I have it in my hand, but I forgot the name. I can't think right now. But it's all nudes, palette, whatever. Um, I didn't think I needed it anymore. And then Jeffree Star had to do this to me and release. And I got other items too, which um, I have on here. And I also did a, um, I got another box because I wanted to do Christmas shopping and I got some more stuff and I'm really like, but the blood money. It's the quality of it. You open it like this, but first you can get it out of the box and then you open it. Cause looks like this it is fantastic it's so i haven't used it yet i mean i've like touched it and stuff but i haven't used it <gasps> i can't wait to use this one right here and sorry my nails are ugly but <sighs> my nail spot closed again because of covid so either i need to <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to have ratchet looking uh, nails for a while until they open up again. Or until I learn how to actually do my own nails because I'm not good at it. I can do my makeup. I just cannot for the for the life of me do my nails. So these lashes are so long. It's, uh, I say one more. Then I got... It's a big box. The reason why it's a big box because I got the blood money jacket and I'm too lazy to go get it. <gasps> oh, I should have done that. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking of stuff. So I also got all of this stuff. Um, I got the perfect red. And then I order some other stuff because my mom loved one of the jackets that I have. So um, I did a different order. So this is a mini. And I threw away the box. Well, I didn't throw away the box. I used the box to wrap it and tell my mom it's her gift. Also, life hack, if you want to get rid of boxes, <laughs> like if you do a lot of um, online shopping, uh, I recommend to use those boxes to just put the presents and wrap it and give it away because 
yeah so oh i keep opening and closing i got the velvet trap um lipstick looks like this my battery's gonna die soon oh my god i suck at this it's called the perfect red looks like a bullet it's so soft and it's red i already used it because it's so pretty it has like really beautiful details as the star on there then uh on the other one i got weirdo which is a black because I do want to do, um, I want to do more like Halloween-y um, monsters. I don't want to keep saying Halloween because what I want to do with makeup is not just for Halloween. It's just for every day. Then I got a new velvet trap. This color I had for my wedding. And it was my lovely friend slash makeup artist. She mixed different colors and she made this color for my wedding and this one's called medieval kiss and it looks really dark right now like if it were to be black but it's not it is like like a dark burgundy berry looking with a tint of like pur dark purple um and it, i wish this was out when it was my wedding because and then i got um concealer but I got the white one because, again, I want to do more with makeup than just glam. I like to do, um, like I have a video when I did the Joker. Um, I've also did Valak, the nun, um, and then I'll try to recreate it and redo it because I have a whole story behind that. And white. And it's really good. I love the concealer. And then I got the new powder. They, it smells like cotton candy. But this one is supposed to have like a glow. And I did get translucent because the other one I think I got beige. So that is that. Is that done? Yeah, this is the, I'm trying to hurry because my battery's going to die. <laughs> and I got to charge my battery for a little bit. And then continue the wannabe podcast. So yeah. Okay, back to my notes. Oh, why I don't make plans. So I don't make plans because things never go as planned. At least for me it doesn't. Rarely it will go on as planned. As you can see, I was behind three months of unboxing. Uh, there's a lot of things happened. And it's like some really sad stuff, some really massive stuff in my personal life. But I'm going to keep that to myself. Um, now that the holidays are coming up, there is one thing you got to know about me. I really don't like to give to adults. Um, I will give to certain people in my family, but I really don't like to give to adults. Because to me, Christmas should be about the children. Um, I never had a good childhood and, you know, I it got a little better, but it was still a lot. Which, maybe one day I'll feel good to tell you what I went through, but as of right now, I'm going to keep that personal to myself. And ever since I, you know, started making money and I... I've tried to put it in mind to kids because I want the kids to have a good, have what I didn't have as a child. Um, I had some good, I have had some traumatic, I've had some okay childhood, but it, I don't want children to go through trauma and so I want them to enjoy Christmas because to me Christmas, yes it's about family and everything, but um, it's to always keep the magic alive for children that's why i mostly focus on buying kids gifts versus buying adults because you're an adult you can grab you can get what you want okay that's my opinion not everybody is like that um now speaking of christmas i like christmas 
but I'm not like a huge fan of Christmas. I'm not that kind of person that's like, oh my God, okay, Thanksgiving is over. I'm gonna decorate everything and I'm gonna do so many lights for the house and a big old tree. And I just like, I'm not like that because I like it, but I'm not a big, big fan of Christmas. I don't hate Christmas. I'm just not a big, big fan. Um, my grandma did do a lot of decorations, so I don't know why that didn't rub on me. But I, and my mom too. My mom loves Christmas. She goes all out and does lights, and then she does deer, she does trees, she does all that. And I never, it never rubbed on me. I don't know why. I like it. I like looking, going to Christmas in the park, going to places and looking at houses. Like I enjoy watching them. I don't, and it can't be that I'm lazy because that's not it. Let me tell you why. Because I love Halloween. That feeling that you get when people who enjoy Christmas or love Christmas and they're like, oh my God, it's Christmas. Or it's almost Christmas. It's how I feel with Halloween. I've always liked Halloween. I always. Uh, my favorite... I can't say my favorite character because I love a lot of them. But my favorite first scary movie um was it and i fell in love with pennywise i am a fan of pennywise i a fan this is like the newer one and everybody who wear has funko seizures i'm like i need to get out the box yes i did it's mine i bought it anyway um where was i yes i'm a fan of halloween <laughs> I love to do my makeup. I love to dress up. I, if I don't have my own place, I'm we're renting. But if I if I had my own place, oh trust me, you'll have clowns everywhere. You'll have clowns. You'll have zombies, scary stuff. I am not a fan of per porcelain porcelain. Per <laughs> I know how to speak English. Porcelain dolls. Those actually scare me. But I love crazy looking clowns. Just not. I love Freddy Cougar. I like, I love Chucky and the Bride of Chucky. But porcelain dolls? Even um, Annabelle scares me. I'll still watch it though. I have, <laughs> have a collection. Um, but I won't own an Annabelle doll because I don't know why dolls are not. Mm. And I live with my in-laws and my mother-in-law has a bunch of porcelain dolls, so surviving. Next. Oh, plans for the podcast. So my battery's gonna die soon and that is well I will um yeah uh, uh go to. And I I don't know how to set my camera to where it goes for an hour. I don't know if it's possible. But if it's not possible, I'll just look at the timer and then when it's close to being done, I will just stand still or stand still, sit still. So when I edit, it looks like I never did it. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm telling you guys, but that's it. Oh, so uh, yes, I'll be right back. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I talked about da, da, da. I should have uh, crossed out what I've already talked about, but I didn't do that. Oh, why I'm not a fan of Christmas? I think I've already did that. So plans for podcast. <coughs> plans for podcast. So, I don't know how to make one. Yeah. Oh my god, why am I so... Why did that happen? Yeah, I don't know how to make one. But I'm doing my research. I... To... How to start one. Also, what kind of equipment I will need. I don't have my own spot to or a space to 
have bigger equipment um, and also COVID sucks and I was going to rent the studio but the studio got shut down it's very annoying and I wanted to do it on there as well also I want to have a podcast but have a co-host because one I need to uh, stay on track and remember what I was talking about and I have someone that will probably help me or make it worse I don't know <laughs> just make it even make it more random so um and I hope she sees this and she if the way I'm gonna describe her is she better text me right away and be like oh my god I'm hella down so she, we have so much stuff in common and we're also have a lot of stuff that we're not in common um but we've been friends since middle school we even though we have our differences in opinion we talk about it and then we have a we have a conversation we may not agree on a lot of things but we're capable of having an actual conversation and still being friends and respect that that's your opinion now that is now if it's something that it's like really wrong like really wrong then we'll tell each other like no what the, you know so um i've had her uh i've been i've known her for uh so many years i'm still waiting for you guys to guess how old i am but i've known her since middle school um i've spent time at her house we watched uh documentaries like crime documentaries um hopefully she has time and hopefully when i do find a way how to do a podcast I will have a podcast and then when COVID is finally over, I will have a co-host and sh hopefully she says yes and hopefully when she sees this, she texts me right away and tells me she's down. Um, I'm not going to say her name. I'm just going to wait because I don't want to plan it and then everything go like it always does. Uh, so we do have a lot of things in common and, and when we talk, we talk so much and we get so into it and it's like, like me and, I don't have a best friend. I don't, I, I stopped using that word. It's sad, but I stopped and so did she because it feels like anytime I would have a girl that was a best friend, it became toxic and it became bad and so i don't have a i don't have a best friend and if anything the only person i would say i don't even call my mom best friend um but i she me and her are like oh sorry i'm just knocking stuff out me and her are so close um that most people would consider us best friends sometimes they think we're sisters which is insulting to me but she's flattered uh so we don't really call each other best friends um i also don't call my friend best friend she doesn't call me best friend we don't really have best friends or i know she does i don't know if she still does <sighs> yeah i don't know where i was going with that but like i forgot how to breathe <laughs> but anyways we're just really really good friends we we have our opposite opinions but we get along so well and a lot of stuff that we have in common we oh, have like a joy of it so that's plan for podcast future podcast if it happens uh plans for makeup and glam special effects so i like to do glam makeup and everything but what i really love to do is i like like i said i love halloween when it comes to halloween it's like <gasps> um i attempted to do the um the nun which i did but i ended up brushing it because i had given myself enough time to to the costume and it was going well up until i used this whoops <laughs> this But um, I've never had a problem with Spirits cream makeup. And that day when I first started putting it on, then I started feeling like burning in my skin. I'm like, was it just my skin? Is it this? And it kept getting hotter and hotter. I'm like, nope, 
I had to remove it and I had to redo it and, I, and then I had to rush because I had, um, we were gonna be running late. We had an outdoor event because um, we have to social distance. Now we can't even do outdoor events because it's too, it's too crazy. It's, I live in a place where we're very, very strict and I don't know, it's just sad. I, I don't wanna get sad. But uh, I ended up using this concealer as my face because so, it's windy outside and I saw the shadow of the tree moving and I got scared. I thought I'm talking about Halloween, I thought it was a ghost or an intruder, you know. Um, but yes, I started using this concealer and then I did a whole thing and I was going to redo it and then 2020, I'm tired of 2020. Aren't we all tired of 2020? Yeah. So that's, I want to do more. There's this artist. Oh my God, I love her, her makeup tutorials. Um, she's under a Made You Look. And she came up with makeup, which is water-based body paint, which I feel like will be a lot better. And then I've learned some techniques that she does where she puts foundation first and then the makeup. So um, I will try to learn that. But she made her own brand. Now, I could have gone to a different brand to get water-based body paint, but she is so amazing. She just started her makeup line, like, she has a, she's done other stuff but like her actual body paint she did it this year it sold out and I, by the time I remembered I'm like oh, oh I'm on my phone like trying to get to it and it was already sold out so I I didn't put an alarm but usually when I want to get like a a makeup thing or or a new launch I try to put an alarm so that I can like be on it and I forgot and by the time I remember that same day that it dropped it was too late everything was sold out um, so I want to, I'm waiting for her to restock so that I can buy it and use it. Um, she's under Made You Look. I will link it down below. Uh, and she, her, like that is the makeup that I love to do and want to keep being creative. Uh, a little side note on my end so I love art to me recording this is art talking about this is art doing makeup is art um anything where you have to be creative to me is an art form uh so it's something that I really love and I want to keep doing and get better um I've been drawing since I was a kid uh I haven't been doing any drawings in a while so I have to I don't have to, but I want to um, get back into it and show you guys. Do like a sped up, sped, speed up, sped up. I, I swear, I know English, but I just sometimes forget English. <sighs> Coffee. Oh! <laughs> Me going off topic again. I love to support small small businesses. I always liked supporting small business, but this with the pandemic even more. And what I have here, that's my little cup, is uh, Vietnamese coffee made by Finbar. Uh, they're on Instagram and I think they have a YouTube. I have to search it because I kind of saw them recording, but I, I, I haven't watched it. But if they do, I will link it down below. But I will link also their um, their Instagram. And they make Vietnamese coffee. They make it so delicious. Like so strong, but so delicious. Because uh, there are Vietnamese coffees that I've tasted that are very strong. But they're like, they don't taste good. They taste like bitter. They I've had one where they add hazelnut to add sweet. And it was, I didn't like it. It was kind of gross. And with them, it's strong. But it's so delicious way more delicious than um, Lee's Coffee. So if you guys are a fan of Lee's Coffee, it's not bad. But uh, they go by Finn Bar. And, oh, I'm like so obsessed with their coffee. So, and I like to support small business. So, especially right now with the pandemic. Back to what I was doing. Um, yes. Uh, special effects that is what I want to do more in this channel I don't want to just do it on Halloween I want to do it whenever I just feel like doing it um, because it's just 
it's it's an art form i love to do that um a crazy thought let me know if this is crazy or not but um i heard about this thing called uh christmas vlogmas and the only reason why i heard it which i will go to the next one is because of uh, morgan adams uh she is a youtuber and she's doing a blog mess uh but i uh, i don't see myself doing that but i was thinking because it's all, <laughs> me all the time i was thinking what if i do something like that before halloween and somebody better not rip me off that idea unless it already exists then <sighs> But for Halloween, would I be crazy to try to do a look every day of the month, like until Halloween? I mean, because Halloween is like the entire month. Vlogmas, which is like vlogging for Christmas, ends in Christmas. I'm trying not to burp and I'm trying not to get hiccups because they sound weird. Um, so I would I be crazy? Hmm. I'll, I'll keep thinking about it. I got like another year if, you know, COVID goes away. And also I'm waiting for a Meiji look to um, bring back her, her makeup line so that I can buy it. Now, so because this in honor of me loving podcasts, I'm going to mention the stuff or the podcasts that I enjoy so much. If you want to get scared, I recommend, or like if you want crime stuff, I have, and I should have, <laughs> I should have numbered it so I know which one go like first, second, third. Um, but it is uh, female cr female criminals, and I'll talk more about it on a different podcast or different episode. Uh, female criminals. It's all about um, women. Because when you think, and they say it in their intro, when you think of a serial killer, a criminal, a boss, or anything, you always think it's a guy. So they have a lot of episodes when it's, that it's, when, that, <clears throat> I used to stutter when I was younger and I thought I got over it. And it's not as common as, as it used to be, so... Uh, female criminals, so they tell you in the intro whenever you think of like a criminal, a uh, boss, the serial killer, you always think of a man. You never think of a woman. So then they have so many episodes where it's all female criminals and it's like crazy. Some of the stories on a different episode, on the next episode, I will talk about, um, is it that one? I will talk about, yes, the next episode. I will talk about, uh, which ones I recommend. And I said I will talk about too many times. Uh, next one is Serial Killers. The lady that does, her name is Vanessa, I think. The lady that she does crim, uh, female criminals is also in Serial Killers. That was the first podcast that I got into as far as crime. And then I've been obsessed with uh, podcasts after that. And they have some insane serial killers. Um, it is crazy like I have my top three on there I'm actually getting a little bit of a headache because it's I'm thinking of all the three that I've listened to of how crazy it is especially actually no I'm only gonna do one because it's that one episode it's a two-part uh thing it is it's insane so I'm gonna leave you on the edge uh next one is crime junkie uh crime junkie is different kinds of crime they have m missing people they have conspiracies they have serial killers they have like all different not just serial killers not just certain like they talk about a lot and their vibe is so oh my god it's i love their vibe so much they're two girls they uh, i can't think of them i suck at this i can't think of their names right now and i didn't write it down um, but they their vibe is so good like it's very entertaining now to the last of your podcasts that are not crazy I listen to the sip 
and Sweet Boys. So the sip is more entertainment for like celebrity gossip and and stuff like that. And it's with Rylan Adams and I am obsessed with it. Um, right now they're not doing any podcast until next year. Uh, which this is right now being filmed in December. What day is it? December 22nd. But I won't probably won't release these until January or yeah but right now it's december 22nd this is the first episode i'm going along with it um but yes the sip so by the time this goes up it probably they're already back but it's with rylan adams and lizzie garden and she is amazing i mean they're both amazing but she is so funny i love her so much oh my god if i could i would go or if you know that popular <laughs> and they invited me over i would love to join their podcast she is me no <laughs> she's like me but um she's like i have a friend that is just like her and oh, i love the vibe so they they do a lot of gossip a lot of um uh well they don't do a lot of gossip but they talk about like celebrity entertainment and and stuff like that next one um sweet boys oh yeah sweet boys sweet boys is what kind of what i'm doing um they are so random but they're themselves they are so funny their train of thought or the when they uh go into topics it's literally what's in my head so i'm in love with them um it's by garrett watts and andrew swiskey swiskey whiskey I'm not good with pronouncing names, but I'm telling you, I do know English. <laughs> Anyways, at least I know enough English so that whenever my grandma needed translation, um, I would translate for her. You know, when when you you're you know a kid, and then if you don't translate correctly, then they tell you why are you going to school, kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know that amount of uh, English. But anyways, yes, so Sweet Boys, I love their podcast. They're also taking a break. So hopefully by the time I put up this first episode, they come out. Now, on on the other thing that I want to do is always end the uh, episode with something funny, like a joke, a fun fact, a scary fact, a very serious fact. Um, but today I think I'm going to go with the fun fact. So I have a book coming out, which has been delayed so many times and COVID didn't help at all. So I have a book, it's called Valerie, and I was done with it, like a ready to be, I had already sent it to the editor and it was ready to go and I'm going to go on Kindle because I didn't get a publisher. So it's okay. Um, my goal was to always be on Kindle anyways. <sighs> Uh, so I, it's called Valerie. Um, I'll have more details when I am finally done because I just feel I keep jinxing myself with it. Um, and it was it was done, but I one thing my editor said that I couldn't get out of my head while I was waiting for something else going on in my life. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Is he said that in one of his books he read it so many times that he ended up redoing the whole book and it got me thinking what if see it always starts with what if and then my brain goes and then i i don't sleep i can't sleep because i am constantly thinking so then i redid the 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 book um i did minor minor changes i added stuff i added so many words and I just got so into it, I put more emotion into it. And so I'm hoping that things get better and I can send him a copy. I'm, I haven't talked to him in a while, so I don't know how he's doing with COVID. I really hope he's doing well. Um, he is an older gentleman. And I, what I like about him is that he doesn't sugarcoat it. He like, quote, quote it, quote it. He is straight up and he will tell you like, what is wrong but with telling you how to like show you how to fix it in a way um and so i love his honesty 
like if I'm going to be successful, I have to listen to the professionals, listen to someone that, you know, has done this because he's had books out. He's done this for so long. I found him on thumbnail and he is like number one editor right there. And so if I want to get to that point of where I become an or I am an author, I just haven't really published anything other than little quotes on Instagram and, and funny jokes. Um, but I want to get to that level where I become a published author. Um, I'll get more into how I got into it in a different episode. Um, but yes, that is what a fun fact about me is I write. Uh, I did have um, my Arthur name or pen name as MRR Nguyen. I didn't do it to be anonymous. I did it so that I can still have a piece of my uh, last name uh, because I got married and after I got married, I, sorry, my rings are in, in the box, but uh, after I got married, I changed my last name and it felt weird because not only I'm, I'm married to a different like ethnicity that which it shouldn't matter but it it you know it's just different uh heritage diff a lot of stuff is different so I felt this like weird not emptiness but like like I had cut off my life kind of sense I don't know it just felt weird so um MRR Nguyen uh the RR is for my grandma's last name I never had her last name but I wanted to honor her she did pass away about two years ago I wanted to honor her so I wanted to um the R on her last name and then the R, the second R is my grandpa's last name, which is my mom's last name, which I had that last name. So M R R, and then my current last name, which is Nguyen, uh, M for Margie. Um, so I wanted to have still something part of the like. I, even though I know I'm still part of that family, I just wanted to still keep a little bit of it. But it, it I don't know. I don't know if if it's just me of other women or men or whatever have felt that when they change their last name they feel different maybe it's just me and also if I get married again I'm not changing my last name that was a lot of work I had to change my last name on, on my cards on my bank on my address on oh but I'm not gonna get divorced no I'm knocking on wood because things never go as planned so I'm knocking on wood I don't want to jinx it my husband's gonna see this and be like I'm free no you're not you'll never be free ever also because I didn't sign a prenup so if I become famous no <laughs> anyways um yeah so this is the first episode of Margie Presents Pre <laughs> Margie Presents Hella Random I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you guys want some more episodes, I will keep this up as much as I can. And then once I get the opportunity to become a full-on podcast, I will definitely let you guys know. And I'm waiting for my friend to text me to let me know that she's hella down. Okay? So thank you guys again for um, everything, for watching my videos and it, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I have more ideas, like, mm, mm, yeah, I have ideas. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.